Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Mariana and in this channel you will find cleaning motivation, organizational ideas and DIYs all on a friendly budget. Today you are in for a treat because I picked up this script from the curve and I am transforming it into a multi-functional solution. If you enjoy the content in today's video, would you hit the subscribe button? It will help my channel greatly and it doesn't cost you anything. As well, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and introduce yourself in the comments down below. With the bottom piece of this crib, which is the rack that holds the mattress, I have created a trellis for my urban garden and I am going to link the video down below in case you want to head over and watch that after you finish with this video. Before Easter, I took down the wall that connected our living room with our kitchen to create an open concept. The wood that you are going to be seeing in this video for to create the top of this project it's all recycled from the pantry that used to be in the kitchen i started off cutting this piece to make sure it measures the same as the other side the gate and I have this extra pieces of wood here this I believe are two by a half and what I'm gonna do is I am going to attach this here and this also on this side we have extra uh, space here so the island can come all the way out is that if that makes sense and then this also keeps this also is gonna help to support the wood that we're gonna put on top to create the island. And I think that's what we're gonna do. that was here in my kitchen from the other side that I took out these are the shelf and if it's perfectly from there to there and I am trying not to spend any money this is from an old gate that I had built for the basement so what I'm gonna do is right now I'm waiting for my drills to charge but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to use this for the top Although I had all the intention to finish this project in one day, unfortunately, both of my drills, they die and I had to wait until the next day. So here you see me on day two. I am laying down the pieces of wood that are gonna go across to give the island more support and putting the top one by one making sure that they straight with this triangle tool. You should know that I am not a carpenter, I'm not a professional, and all my videos are to encourage you to go ahead and look at something in a new light and give it life and for you to take courage and be creative and build something beautiful for your home 
even if you don't have a lot of money, you could transform something and make it something else and give it life, give it quality, give it a purpose, give it a functionality. So I hope you walk away with this. If you are a professional watching this, please help me and let me know next time, how can I make a better cut? What should I have used instead? As long as your comments are done in a loving and respectful way, I appreciate all the help that I can get from your expertise. Securing this together with my favorite tool. a quick trip to Home Depot and this is how I'm gonna be filling in all these holes here this is what I'm gonna be using for the gate and we're gonna stain it with this color and then we're gonna seal it with this and we also got this let's do this out of all the steps in this process, this is the one that I enjoy the least. show you how it's drying it dries very fast and i'm a little worried that this bucket is gonna dry up so i'm trying to hurry up but this is a very slow process but look you can even tell oh you see look yeah my hands
streaming the excess wood that overhang from the island. This cat was pretty neat, but the next cat actually uh, I messed up a little bit. It went over and chipped off a little bit of the gate. Not bad for being the first time that I'm trying to connect two 45 degree angles and there's nothing that the party cannot solve and that's where I'm about to go and do next a little bit about me I found the passion and now has become a hobby to create things and to find beauty where perhaps you see a dark place or trash. And I am saying this because I did not know I had this power of creativity in me until we were in at home shelter back when the pandemic started. And I'm curious to know during that time, which is almost behind us now, what have you discovered about yourself? And leave me a comment down below. I 
I am putting the hinges now on the door, but I am not using the screws that came in it with. I find that they're very small, they're hard to drive in. I am using instead the one specifically made for wood. sanding and smoothing the surface to have it ready for stain and seal this was very satisfying as i'm sanding and making sure that there's not a sharp edge so i'm trying to make them a little curvy as well as make sure that there's nothing sticking out that someone can put a hand and get a splinter or anything like that after you finish this process, make sure that you brush or sweep the area as well as give it a good vacuum because the next step is staining and you don't want any residue to be on the surface. Here is the most exciting part of this project, which is painting. I first started with this foam brush, but it was not working for me. It was absorbing a lot of the liquid and not spreading it as uh, smoothly as I wanted to. So I ended up using the rug. Now, I saw some information that when you finish with the rug and the brush, make sure you toss it in a secure place because it is very flammable, which means if you leave it anywhere, especially where there's a fire, it will lit on fire pretty quick. So please be careful when you dispose uh, your brushes and your rugs after using a product like this.
find the stain and it is recommended to wait 24 hours. So I will finish this tomorrow and tomorrow it'll be day three. And it's day three because yesterday my two drills had no batteries. So I started the project and I had to pause, but it's done. Don't mind the floor. This is, you know, this kitchen, it's a work in progress. It's little by little, I did that wall, but as you can see, the outlet is not done because when I was cutting this, I cut it wrong, so I had to figure out how to fix that. Um, but here it is. So until tomorrow that I seal it and beautiful. I'm very proud of myself actually, that I have learned so many skills, so never give up. Okay, never give up. Hey, you. Hi. Hello, Cocoa. Hi. That's the new cage. Yeah. You like it? I know you like the cage, right? Because you were crate trained. So you're cool with this. Bye. You like to go on the bed. Yeah. But he likes Last day and we're almost done. All we're gonna do is apply the sealer. And at this time, I wanna thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I wanna thank my family who's always there to help me, which is my kids. I wanna thank you for being on the other side of the screen. Just walking this journey with me and supporting my channel and giving me a like and leaving me a comment i appreciate it and i pray that a light bulb lights up today and that you feel that you are enough because you are enough and you're beautiful and you're wonderfully made and there's power within you to do great things and i truly believe that and if you didn't walk away with anything today at least walk away with that you are an mvp whatever you are and the world needs you and if no one if you feel that no one needs you well i need you come and hang out with me and let's spend some time together lastly the reason i am not painting the bottom it's because i quite not sure what's going to be the tones in the kitchen i am building it as a go i'm trying to have very neutral colors i do love that the crib is naturally gray it does need on the bottom some minor touches but for now this is it the story in this makeover will continue and until next video hang out until the end so you could see the final results give me a follow-up on instagram if you have instagram and until then i love you and i'll catch you on our next diy or cleaning organizational video